Thank you. Well, um, I hoped that I was going to make it in business from the very beginning, but um, I think that after about a year and a half or two years when uh, I added other cheeses to our repertoire that it, we had more sales and so things were better. Well, I think the highest compliment I receive is when somebody tastes our cheese and buys it. Well, I think that people all over the country are interested in cheese and uh, there are more and more delicious cheeses and so we're lucky to have all these new cheese makers in Texas. It's well made and you know Texas is a great source for quality milk. You can't make good cheese without quality milk and we have fabulous milk here in Texas. Then I think that cheesemakers are learning from each other. I think the American Cheese Society is a fantastic resource for everyone and um, I just think it's that's why we're winning. Only the heat. Well, it's well made, that's why. Uh, I think that everything that's made uh, by hand with a lot of care is always better, and especially if you start out with high quality ingredients. Well, the th how many variables there are. There are so many variables, uh, everything from the milk to the temperature. It's a living, growing, changing, uh, substance every day. Every day is different and so you have to learn how to react to the milk to make a perfect cheese. I think that they should go into a good store where there are people that wait on them. And they should ask for a taste. They should talk to the people behind the counter or behind the case and tell them what kind of cheeses they like and what kind of cheeses they might like to try. And uh, the people can be led in a perfect way. In my Texas cheese tour, I have yet to get a perfect answer to this. So here we go. Do you have a favorite cheese? Yes. Fresh mozzarella. Oh, I have a whole chapter in my book that I wrote about cheese and nutrition and uh, one of the things that's most important is that calcium is important for all people at all ages and cheese is a great source of calcium. Another myth to this spell is lactose intolerance because often it's self-diagnosed and uh, Cheese really has a lot less lactose in it than many, many things. The lactose is in the milk before the cultures are added, and the cultures make the lactose in the milk convert to lactic acid. So cheeses made with cultures in rennet do not have high lactose. High lactose is in uh, directly acidified cheeses, it's in uh, ice cream, it's in cafe latte, it's in those things. We have a great website, uh, mozco.com, and uh, we sell our cheeses all over the country to gourmet shops, to individuals, to restaurants, to hotels, to resorts, and uh, we are thankful for all our customers. We have a lot of chefs that use your cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have many chefs who use our cheeses. We create cheeses specifically for chefs and various customers. I like all of it. I really do, but I think that for our employees who work here day in and day out, they love creating new cheeses when we do it together because it's something new for them because it can become the same old thing. One of the things that um, I want to talk about is how important it is to make cheese well and keep incredible records so that if you ever have a failure, you can go back and see what it was that varied from the norm. And I think that most people do that. You can't make good cheese without it.